Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is uh, quite an interesting game, actually. The Outfit. It was a original uh, launch game, I believe. Or if not a launch game, it came um, very, very early on in the in the 360's life. And uh, it is a game that I remember, like, really, really fondly. Uh... It's kind of like a territory control game, um, third person shooter with some strategic elements. It's quite interesting. It has quite a cartoony look, but it's also like the story is surprisingly dark. It's a World War II shooter uh, and you, um, you're basically in charge of the outfit, a ragtag bunch of idiots that have been sent in to take care of the the uh, the Germans because of course we have it's World War Two um, yeah so we have different heroes to play as and we earn money for every kill and that kind of stuff and uh, when you start earning money you can drop in troops and um, and tanks and stuff like that it's a very interesting game I did look it up right okay just between you and me I did look it up and there's next to no let's plays of this uh, on YouTube and I was like <gasps> what and um, only found one. Uh, so that's quite interesting. Uh, now, I am running this on my new Xbox 360. Uh, my game store that I, I have owned, well, I have owned, that I have, um, I've shopped at forever. Like, I brought my PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4 from there. I brought um, all of my Xbox, everything, basically, from there, from my entire adult life. And I'm, what, 32 in, a, in about four months. Um, three months, technically. Um, and yeah, that, that place was shutting down. So I scooped in there and they had a Xbox 360E for sale. It was a 2016 model. So it's almost new, 500 gigabyte. And they everything was 25% off. So I, I had to, I had to pick it up. And I thought, why not show the 360 some love? I've got so many cool 360 games here. Let's go. I have noticed as well, it's quite a loud console. Ah, Relic. A simpler time uh, this game came from. Much simpler time. I haven't seen this for years. And there we have it, my friends, the outfit. And I do love, I do love the way that um, that Sherman knocks out that tiger as if it was nothing. I mean, okay, it looked like it had the uprated gun, but eh. Also, this game is 2005. This game is 13 years old. That blew my fragile little mind when, when, when I saw that the other day. I was like, you have got to be kidding me. 13 years. I remember... Uh, having this game, actually no, this game must have come out slightly after the 360's release, but not long. Because yeah, with my 360 I had Call of Duty 2, Cameo, and... Oh, what was the other game I got? I think that was it, to be honest. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, let's get into it. I have not seen that uh, introductionary... Introductionary? Yeah, that kind of works. That uh, intro for a long, long time. Um, I did play this the other day to, to give it a bit of a test out. Uh, but I skipped the cutscene. Anyway, we're going to go campaign. We're going to go for a new campaign. Uh, I, oh yeah, I've already completed like four of the missions as I was testing it the other day. And uh, oh my god, it's loads of fun. I'm, I am tempted to go on hard to be honest. Because normal's not really much of a challenge. 
Um, I mean, I guess we can put it on hard and see what happens. We can always turn it down. Uh, I don't think there's any achievements locked to uh, the difficulty. Also, this account, uh, my current Xbox Live account, which I thought was the only one I've ever had, uh, I haven't got the achievements for this game, so I guess I made a new Xbox Live account at some point. Must have been, you know, within the first year of the 360 or whatever, but whatever. Anyway, let's go into it. Let's let's stick it on hard. Beachhead, Mission 1. Very basic kind of game design, as you can see here. Menu system, but it works. Oh shit! <laughs> I always love that. Falling with style. Or flying with style. Good night, sweet prince. HQ's got a problem. That means it's now our problem. The Germans control most of Normandy, and the French are finding when they do fight back to just make matters worse. <laughs> now they're hearing rumors of a crowd out. Nice with the locals. Who is it? Man doesn't know. The locals? Why? Don't know for sure. Seems he's trying to freak out the resistance. Point is, they've lost track of the whole population of the village of Valdor. Now our mission is to find out what this mysterious crowd has done with the Frenchmen. <laughs> By any means necessary. And I used to love this music as well. The game's installed to the hard drive, so it does load significantly faster from what I remember. Right, the outfit is on the trail of a murderous German general. Make your way from Allied HQ through hostile territory to inspect the site of the massacre. Oh, okay, too quick to, to read our briefing there. So there is the map on the right. Uh, you can see all the different flags and whatnot. Basically, we start off in one area, and we have to push our way through the map, taking over um, different different areas there's a destruction on demand system so you can pull in um, reinforcements and vehicles at any point in in time really as long as you can afford them now what I like about this game it, it does remind me a lot of um, the mercenary series now I almost did the mercenaries playground of destruction which was the first one but apparently it runs like utter shit and crashes a lot through the 360 emulation and my original Xbox died uh, a couple of weeks ago, so no joy in that. Uh, I nearly did the second game, um, which was World in Flames, which is a fantastic game, but uh, this one won out in the end, in the coin toss, this one won out. So we have different heroes here. Uh, I don't know what purchasing means. My copy of this game didn't come with a manual, so I... Oh, yes, I do know. I, I remember. It makes things cheaper, but only marginally cheaper. Uh, he has a rifle and a trench shotgun, so he's actually like DJ uh, or JD. He's actually a pretty good character. Um, you got Deuce Williams here, who has well, he's got a heavy bazooka and a pistol. The pistol's not too bad, but the, the bazooka has very limited application, should we say? Uh, and then, of course, you've got Tommy Mac, who is our chiseled, grizzled grunt. Uh, submachine gun. And a flamethrower. Oh, what's interesting here, guys? 
Even though I've gone to start a new campaign, I've already got slightly upgraded weapons. We're starting with the Thompson submachine gun here, whereas you usually start with the grease gun. And the heavy bazooka is the upgraded version. You unlock these as you progress through the game. Uh, and he's got the rifle instead of, I think he has a, a, a basic rifle when he starts off. Um, so that's going to be quite interesting. I didn't realize you could come back and replay older missions with better equipment. That's going to be interesting. His flamethrower as well is fucking the bee's knees, I'm telling you. Uh, but you got to be really close. Anyway, let's jump in. Choose our spawn point. Well, that's redundant because when you start the, uh, every mission, as far as I'm aware, there's only one. Alrighty, objective added. Expect Nazi attack on the base at any moment. Get ready, use the destruction on demand to call in reinforcements. Push Y to open the destruction on demand. So yeah, we push Y and we have this little wheel here that we can buy things. Um, see the indicator down on the left, bottom left there, the, the four men. That's basically vacant. We can always have four men with us at any point. We can call those in at any point, and they are extremely useful. When you use your destruction on demand, you spend FUs. That's basically your money. Yeah, here we go. We've got the boys. And depending on who you are as well, these guys are equipped a little bit differently. See, they've all got grease guns. Uh, capture the armory. That we can do. Go on, boys. Let's have at it. Yeah, and easy enough to capture a building. Just run up to it, as long as there's no other enemies around. And can I just say, look how much 360 graphics improved over the years. My god, this game, I, I was surprised at how rough it looks. I mean, it looks alright. Ah, good evening, boys. Uh, that was terrible. I have a little something for ya. There we go, let's have a kraut barbecue. Just the style, I like it. Extra crispy. Come on, my friend. Flame for you. There we go. Yep. No reloading of weapons in this game either. And you can kill your own men, which is problematic. There we go. Remember, any time we don't have a full squad. Yeah, we've already lost, guys. Your men can be quite squishy, but you can just order more by doing that. The flamethrower is incredibly short-ranged. Sorry, pal. Looks like your family's going to be getting a black letter. Never mind. It's alright, plenty more where that came from. You need to defend the allied roadblock up ahead. Move the roadblock before the enemy gets there. It says before the enemy gets there, it really doesn't matter. That's if the enemy gets there at all. And don't forget, you can constantly reinforce. Come on, boys! You wanna live forever? That'd be kind of boring if you think about it. Ooh, more krauts coming in. Flamethrower is gonna be very ineffective here. Uh, capture that strategic objective. Once captured, it can be used as a respawn point. That's all these these are. I think the enemies can constantly reinforce there as well. But it's not... Uh, it's not a huge thing, really. Just kind of basic... Uh, this is your basic objective that you have to constantly fight up through. There we go. Now, as I said, there's no reloading, but your guns overheat. Which is um, kind of actually really annoying. I would have preferred a reload mechanic, but hey, what can you do? We need to keep Nazi vehicles from breaching our defenses. Order off a couple of anti-tank guns at this location. Yes, can do. A AT guns are awesome. You just order them in like this. Uh, also, when we're getting these uh, emplacements, we can jump on them as well. No need for our boys to have all the fun. Out of the way, asshole. I want to go. Oi, oi, I want to go. There we go. Yeah, the AI is not fantastic, to be honest, at aiming these guns. They're, they're competent, I suppose, but they're not brilliant. Alright, well that was fun. Just the two vehicles today. And there is kind of like a, a bullet physics thing going on here. Wow, here's me ragging on the AI. And here I'm sucking a fat penis trying to shoot this guy. Uh, you need to get moving. The 4x4 is a quick way to get around. Call one in using destruction on demand. Yep, 4x4 is our first vehicle. A little bit like the hog from Halo, except about 4% as fun. Alright, there we go. Uh, if we have a full squad, vehicles are more powerful. Uh, weapons cool down quicker, they have more armor, that kind of stuff. Kind of strange, really, but there we go. There we are. This thing's usually a pile of shit, and I don't like using it. Also, controlling vehicles in this game is horrendous. 
HQ needs you at the base. Check your map and get there as quickly as possible. Aye, aye, sir. I'm on it. I'm on it. Top men are on the job. You can run things down, which is great fun. There we go. Prime example of how squishy that vehicle is. Let's go with JD. This, one is for this one's for America. You got that right, buddy. Um, there we go. Yeah, also, <laughs> I forgot we were playing it on hard. All right, let's try that again. I generally only use the tank. Like, other vehicles in this game are basically pointless, as you can see. Now, this guy... This rifle is amazing. Come on, my friend, let me see that little brain of yours. Your skid lid will not protect you today. There we go. Come on, man, push. What are you doing? Standing around like fucking lemons. You're in this man's army now, boys. I'm going to work you hard. You better believe it. All right, come on, man. Where are you? Oh, okay. Capture the motor pool. Yeah, capturing the motor pool will unlock vehicles. All right, let's go. Eh, uh, Kraut's up ahead, most likely. What toys do we have? We don't really have any toys. What we can do is can we can leave a squad in a jeep and it will be like a mobile gun turret. Like, give me that. Oh, wow, we die so much quicker on hard. And for some reason... Ooh, run, 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 run. And for some reason... We cannot... Uh, turn that gun turret all the way around. Most gun turrets have a 360 field of view. Uh, that one does not. Right, go on, boys. Go get them. Or not. Alright, hang on. Might have to get tactical about this. Now, our shotgun that we have, uh, you would think is really good. Uh, it's not, sadly. We should be able to pull in a half track now. Can we get the half track? We can't. Okay. That sucks. Nazis will be attacking this base from the east. Get ready for their attack. Yes, we still have Nazi troubles over here though, guys. I'm just saying. Um, and we really need to defend this place. Let's get some machine guns to lock this place down. We certainly do want a gun here. We also want a gun here. Let's cut those guys up. I wouldn't exactly describe this as a pillbox, but whatever floats your boat, guys. There we go. Let's get that place locked down. You can always call these guys in. It's not an issue. There we go. Right, you should be able to mop those guys up now. There we are. Lovely. Get that lead out, Marine. We also have throwable weapons, but they are not fantastic, to say the least. Uh, sandbags and pretty much everything we see on the terrain can be destroyed, which is interesting. But, you, of course, you have to have the right tools to do that. Oh, God. Hello. Machine gun that. You know, let's fight fire with fire, I guess. Let's stick one of these mothers right here. Now, the good thing about these big AT guns as well is they have a big shield in front of them. Right. You ain't having all the fun, me laddo. Get off. There we go. Alright, let's bring the pain to these crafty bastards. There we are. Alright. Well, I think that solved their problem. Now, it looks like these don't spawn until we get close enough to them, which is a little bit of a pain. We've ordered those for no reason. But, eh, at least we have a fallback point. If we need a fallback point. If we need a fallback point, we're kind of not really a very good commander, are we? Because this is the first mission. Hey, I never said I was a good commander, damn it. In before anyone else makes that comment. Uh, eh, 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 eh. There we are. I want, a gun. I want a gun right here. I want one right here too. And gun. fuck it, why not? Let's get another one right here because there is no kill like overkill. Car boys, light them up. There we go. Oh, hello, chat. Ah, look at that. They're throwing grenades. Don't often throw grenades on normal. I mean, they do, but not not, not like that. That was quite interesting. All right, boys. Good work. Come on, man. Head down the road to our next base. Yes, boss. See, we could be using the Jeep, but why? It's just rubbish. Oh, God. 
Yeah, I need, I need my sandbags, please. If you could not blow them up, I would be very appreciative. Uh, excuse me, jackass. Yes, your men are not very bright, as you can obviously see. Any vehicle you come across that's just laying around, we can jump in. It's going to get a little rougher ahead. Order a half track and drive it to the next base. Can do. Half track's all right. I mean, it's a step up from the Jeep, but it, it's nothing to write home about. Let's be honest. Nope, we don't want that. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some weaponry in here. There we go. Get these up on high. Oh, capture. Yes, 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 yes. I know what I'm doing. Honest. He lied. Right, get in. Get in. It'll also be quite hard to actually get in the vehicle. Bear that in mind. Now, if one of your dudes does get killed, you can just look up the gun and push A to reinforce it. At a small cost. Alrighty, let's go to town. Come on. Vehicle health is at the top. But let's just run these turds down. Wow, look at the sandbags. I remember that really impressed me, actually. First time I saw that. Alright, boys. Whoa, we have some serious anti-tank coming in. Not good. Yep, AT launchers. This is not good. We need to push on the AT guy. He's down. Okay, hopefully that's it. We need to get out of here before we're toast. Which is going to happen any second. We can repair our vehicle. Oof. Okay. But again, there's not a huge amount of point. Let's get one of those there. Actually, I don't know if we can repair our vehicle yet. You want to go home, buddy? Well, if you stick by me, my friend, you'll be going to Valhalla. Disclaimer, Valhalla may or may not exist. Alright, let's put you there. Now, can we actually repair the vehicle? Repairing a vehicle is cheaper than getting a new one. Yes, we can. There we go. Now, uh, when you repair a vehicle, it does kind of creep itself back over time. So, bear that in mind. Right, let's form our front line up here a little bit more. Let's get some more guns. Put some serious pressure on these motherfuckers. Oh, we're out. Hey, what? 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 There we go. Are we good? Alright, I think we've broken their lines. Alright, boys. Puck your asses. We're coming through. Alright, I don't promise you victory, men. There we go. I mean, I do promise you victory. Let me take that back. I don't promise you'll survive. I'm kind of get stuck on these banks like this. It does happen. Hey, boys. America. Ooh, look at this. Nazi airstrikes are inbound. An AA gun should make short work of them when they arrive. Uh, yes, sir. AA guns are just awesome. Let's just order one in. Can we not order one in? We can. Let's just order a few AA guns in. These things chew up infantry like you would not believe. Actually, chew up most things, to be fair. We are getting a little bit injured here. Yep. Now, if we shoot down... Yeah, you can see them just, like, evaporating these guys. Let's get out. Let's get out of the armor. Hey, buddy. Let me have a little go on that, would ya? I do like these quad machine guns. Evening, boys. Good night. Any more? Now, these medals that come up, these bonus objectives, they're always achievements. Ooh. Coming from different angles, huh? Huh? Trying to, trying to psych us out like that. Oh, hello. It's good old Stukas. Nothing for our quad 50 cows here. Actually, these are probably 20 millimeters, I would have thought. There we go. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Although, skyfish in a barrel. Yes, flying fish. There we go. It's exactly what this is like. Most of the levels as well are quite long. Oh, God. Whoa, see the rockets. That was cool. Oh, we can zoom in with this bass as well. Come on, my friends. Let's warm these guys up. Now, of course, 
The game only actually wanted us to build one of these, but we could have built four if we wanted, and then the, <laughs> the, the Luftwaffe would have been really hosed. Oh, look, we don't even have to do anything here. So it's not efficient uh, spe expenditure of our fundage here, but it doesn't really matter. Most levels you get so much money. Actually, I don't think you ever really um, have a financial problem in this game. You can just spend, spend, spend. There's also no penalty for death either. You just respawn. Which is why I guess I don't really mind playing on hard because... I can't, I just, I can't imagine this game being that tough. I really can't. There we go. Six, it wanted us to destroy five, we've now tagged six. What kind of rookie amateur outfit do they think we are, honestly? Come on, baby. Wait. Is that it? Okay. Good initiative. You shot down six Nazi Stukas. Yes, yes we did. Uh, the better you do at those challenges, the more money you get. Right, boys. Let's ride. Uh, there's our vehicle. Ooh. HQ needs that radio tower. Make sure the Nazis don't get control of it. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, TJ... Or DJ, I can't remember is this guy's name. Something like that. Uh, he's one of the best characters because of his rifle. His rifle is really, really good. Oh, we need more men. Yeah, if we jump in a vehicle, sometimes our men don't always follow us. But they don't disappear. They just laser around the battlefield. So, uh, for instance, he's going to jump. He'll probably jump on that gun if there's any enemies around or whatever. Now. If we come across um, vehicles like this, as I said before, and gun emplacements, you can use any enemy equipment or you can just destroy it. And if you destroy it, even though it's not manned, you will still get money for it. Some of the German equipment in this game is awesome. Now, Radio Tower will allow us to call in air support. Capturing a radio tower gives you the ability to order airstrikes and artillery strikes. Oh, yeah. You better believe it, guys. Airstrikes and artillery in this is uh, pretty amazing. But as you can see, it's also quite pricey. Now, you can change the angle of attack and things like that, which is really nice. All right, let's just get them to go in there. Go for it, boys. There we go. See the rockets and everything. That's some fine work, boys. That's some fine work. Ah, oh, hello. Didn't realize you lot were coming. I'd have laid the table. There we go. Hot lead for everybody. The road ahead is going to be dangerous. Call in a tank for added protection. You do not need to ask me twice. The tank is my favorite vehicle in this game. It is truly a force to be reckoned with. Ah, oh, hey boys! Oh, they have their own tank. Um, yeah, that's actually quite awkward. Um, we may be dying here. That tank. Yep, <laughs> we didn't even get out of the vehicle. That tank will cut you down so quick. Um, luckily, our men have jumped in it. Let's get our own tank. Now, they won't drive the tank, but they will man it. Which is nice. You can also be flattened when uh, equipment is called in, so also bear that in mind. Right, boys, let's ride. Oh, dear, um, that was embarrassing. Now track down this murderous Nazi German. Follow the road to town and eliminate the Nazis you find along the way. Aye, aye, sir. Ah, they retook that. Do we actually get anything for destroying this? No. Right, so we can repair this. There we are. Let's keep that tank fighting fit. You never know when we might need it. Or, actually, we, we don't need it. But you get the point. Ooh. Something's calling in some serious rounds. Already damaged. Right, let's push. Oh, hello. Got some cute little uh, little Nazi vehicles here. 
That's adorable, my friend. Your little pop pop gun. And I can tell you one thing, guys. The damage they are doing to our vehicle is massively increased. Like, it's not a little bit more than normal. It is huge. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, I mean, these guys would have not even been an issue before. Now they are a bit of a serious threat. So we're going to have to play a lot more tactically. And we're going to have to rely on our men a lot more. Which I, for one, am actually looking forward to. It's going to be more fun. Because as I said, there's no penalty for dying in this game. So I'm all for that. Alrighty, what do we have here? Allied transports have gone. Of course, without your help, they'll be swamped by the enemy. Assist them by... Yep. Uh, protect at least five paratroopers. We can do that. Another thing that we can do. Order in some... Oh, sh yeah, we do have enough, you lying bastard. We can order in some support here. Alright, let's go warm these Nazi fuckers up. The cannon is not very effective against the Krauts, as you can see. There we go. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, guys. Oh, hello. Hiding there will save you. A news for you, pal. Not happening. Alrighty. Good enough. Also, you can drive through just about anything in these things, which is cool. Including, like, some small buildings and whatnot. At least I think we can drive through. Yes, we can. Excellent. Should probably repair our tank as well. Ooh, two paratroopers survived. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, we were a little bit slack on that, if I'm being honest. Right, always make sure you're fully equipped with your men. All right, boys, hold the line. As you can see, that chap should have jumped inside our tank, but he's decided to take on the Krauts on foot instead. He has rather large kahunis, and I support his decision. My good sir. Ooh! Sorry, <laughs> I was just about to say. <laughs> Rest in peace, Sergeant Pyle. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, there's certainly a place in Valhalla for him. Um, yeah. Whoops. That's going to happen. Whoa, good night, Vienna. He's gone. Evening, boys. I think it's rather adorable. You think your little 50 cows are going to do anything to us? Ooh. Ah, more paratroopers. Right. We need to save some of these guys. Are they really? Yep, yep, they are. Yes, there we go. Another two. So we only need to save one more. And we've got our quota. So we had to save five in total. Alright, let's just roll up on these jerrys. Evening! Massively overshot there. Last squad dropping in. Hey boys! Welcome to the party. Oh, God! Bloody Kraut bastard on his MG42. There we go, look at that. Almost the whole squad survived that. Good work, man. Whoa, sons of bitches! I need that bridge. Repair the bridge. Yes, 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 yes. Now, usually, yeah, we don't even have to get out of the tank to repair the bridge. There's modern engineering view. Just drop a fresh bridge on there. Beautiful, in a way. Allies were victorious at the three attack sites. Goddamn right we were. Good job. We're going to have so many medals piss pissed on us. Pressed on us. And that's just the way we like it in this man's army. There we go. Oh, we're about to lose the tank. Ah, hello. I didn't see that. Alpha effects. There we go. We're gone. But don't even worry about it. Um, 
Let's actually go with that. Let's go with the launcher. I don't generally play as this guy. He does have traditional grenades, which is interesting. Alright. Ooh, that was a good hit. Now, your health does regen, which is nice, but it regens very slowly. Damn, this launcher is extremely inaccurate. There we go. Knocked him out. Let's get another tank. In. And it is nice that he's cheaper, actually. Yeah. I mean, he's not even 10% cheaper. Oh, no, he might actually be 10% cheaper. But, um, I suppose... Why did you jump in and then jump instantly out again? But I suppose cheaper is cheaper. Right, you German bastards. Here comes the allies. There's a church. Yeah, we're going to secure the church. Don't you worry about it. Frame rate is taking a severe hit here. Oh, God. Grenades. Grenades. Grenades do very little damage against the tank. But they do do damage, which is important to note. Small arms fire doesn't, as far as I'm aware. Ah, oh, hello, armored car. Lack thereof. Puny, puny German armor. Well, that church looks like it's on fire. I'm no expert. Team is under fire. Gee, do you think? I thought it was me imagining it. Alright, bail, bail, bail. Our tank is history. Right, let's get... Let's get a little fortified area going on here. HQ wouldn't like it there. I don't care what HQ wants. Ooh, the number of the beast. 666 credits to repair that. Get on board, guys, honestly. Oh, I was hoping it would actually move a little bit more than that. Damn it, we don't have enough men to move the turret. There we go, now we can. Come on, guys. Whilst we're still breathing. Uh, who didn't load the gun? Probably Sergeant Pyle. He was probably carrying the last shell we had. Ooh. Lucky son of a bitch. I like the way when the tanks are damaged, they actually jump out. It's funny, because they think they can survive. Look, you are under my gun, sir. You are actually smarter than I gave you credit for. No longer. The entrance to the church has been secured. I like the way we get money for that, even though it's the end of the mission. Well, we tried. That's the main thing to take away from here. We tried to save the church. Oh dear. These people, they were all burned alive. Ne tirez pas! Ne tirez pas! Je suis français! Je suis de votre côté! Yes, we know you. The loi and told the militaire. It's okay, father. Do you speak English? Est-ce que vous parlez anglais? Yes. Mon père François. This was my village. This was my church. The Germans did this. Well, obviously. German. Hans von Beck. He is the one responsible for this atrocity. Were I not a man of God? Easy, father. That's what <laughs> I love it. This looks like a mutant. Went into the church. I thought he was a man of mercy. But then he... The church on fire. There was nothing I could do. What kind of animal would order killing innocent women? And That's pretty brutal. General von Beck answers to Hitler himself. Burning women and children alive in a church. That that's a lot darker than you would expect from this this game that has a, a relatively toy soldiery cartoony look to it. But anyway, we died three times. We killed 101 soldiers. We killed 14 vehicles. Three emplacements and had an accuracy of 29%. And friendly fire kills 10. Wow, was there that many? <clears throat> Whoops. But, you know, that is basically the outfit. Uh, the levels get a lot more complex and longer as the game goes on.
I'm expecting the challenge to ramp up quite a lot now on hard as well. But uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is going to be so much fun to replay. I've only gone up to the fourth mission, and there are 12 missions. So that leaves us eight left to, uh, to explore together, shall we say. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.